Hey everybody, Jittery J here. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, today we're checking out something a little different. I was told this came be this comes before season three of Nidiator Broad, so I better get on this one instead. This is uh it says before the trip, Carl was worried about traveling with someone he didn't know. This is Carl Pilkington and Warwick Davis go shopping. Uh, we're going to jump straight into this, but first we're going to hit the original video with a like and subscribe. Not sure who this is, but we'll hit the subscribe anyway. Okay, there it goes. Uh, anyway, let's get into this, see what this one's entails. Uh, curious to see, because if I'm not mistaken, these two, their personalities are way, way apart from each other. <laughs> Okay, so Ricky sent Carl and Warwick on a shopping trip to get to know each other. Oh god, Ricky's involved. <laughs> cool. If I'm being honest, what I'm worried about with you tagging along, you know, are you going to become a hindrance? Just a second. Am I... No, I don't want to get this straight from the start. Am I tagging? Tagging along feels like... You're slightly doing this under duress, and I. You've well, I don't, I don't know why we're doing this. Tagging, no, it's not tagging along. We are going on a trip together, and I'm charged with opening your eyes to some to the way the world really is. Okay. But what? Why? What? Where? I, I'm more, I'm more travelled and more experienced. Yeah, but you're small-minded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're small-minded. I, li I like how he asked him if he's going to be a hindrance, but yet work is the one driving. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, who's the hindrance? What, where, I, I'm more, I'm more travelled and more experienced. Yeah, but you're small-minded. <laughs> well, Ricky sold it to me as I might get in the world record books for going round with you. What's the record? There's, there, you can't say there's a record for going around the world with a dwarf. That's not. There isn't. That. There isn't one. I've looked. There isn't one. So, so we can make one. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, what are you saying then? You go around the world. You don't rush. You don't dawdle. But you take in the sight. So when we go around and we come back, we are full of culture and knowledge, and we've brought something away from it. Right. We've not just got jet lag. And a tropical disease. I know, but it's just funny hearing you talk like this, because I probably had that attitude at the beginning. And when you do it, you're shitting yourself to death. You've got a temperature. You're having a bollock for lunch, you know, from some animal you've never heard of. I doubt you'll be saying, oh, yes, I'm loving the culture. You'd be pissed off. <laughs> he, he forgets, though. Ricky did not want him to enjoy the trip at all. Ricky wanted him to hate it. So... Ricky and Steve were constantly putting him through hell during the trip. I mean, all in good fun, but yeah, it's <laughs> like he said in the in the last one with the uh, where Carl comes home. He said he was losing weight. He 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 was starving himself because some of the food was just it wasn't to his taste. He's not used to the culture. Uh, but yeah, I can see where he's coming from with that. I doubt you'll be saying, oh yes, I'm living the culture. You'll be pissed <laughs> off. This is the sort of book we want, look, the travel book. A journey through every country in the world. Right? Looks amazing. Hmm. How There's long... a glacier there. How long do you think the longest cat is? The longest cat in the world. I can't even believe I'm thinking about this. Uh, I, I know, it's six foot. 123 centimetres. Right. What are you in centimetres? Um, That's just over four about feet. About 100 and... Five, I think. So this cat is longer than you. That's a domestic cat. That's amazing. Carl, look at some of these sights. I'm looking at a cat here that's playing a piano. You're showing me an old rock. This is what I'm talking about. You just got such a blinkered view of everything. Uh -huh. He hasn't got a clue. 
He actually thinks it is. It's going to. Carl, can you just help us with these books? I need to put them back. That's all I'm going to be doing. I'm a helper. Do you keep wandering off? Are you going to keep doing this when we're on our trip? Well, we just keep bickering. Oh, it's hard work, this is, isn't it? He sees negative in everything. Everything I say. Right. He wants to find a fault in it. Um, I, I don't think I've ever met anybody with such a such an outlook. I'm not good around enthusiastic people. <laughs> if family's like me, we don't get enthusiastic about anything. We always expect the worst. So that when it happens, we know how to deal with it. Okay. So they all ex they expect always expect the worst. There's not there's no way to live though. Uh, I know. <laughs> I used to do the same thing. It's a very pessimistic viewpoint of the world. But uh, it is. Uh, can you imagine two outlooks being any farther apart than these two? The just their views on things. Like like he said, he's not he's not good around enthusiastic people, and yet. Or is very enthusiastic about the trip, whereas he sees it just as a way to get possibly get in record books. <laughs> He's not excited at all about it. But then look at what Ricky's putting through on the last two seasons. Enthusiastic about anything we always expect. Yeah, man, Steve. So that when it happens, we know how to deal with it. Yeah. How's he going to deal with it? He's not going to deal with it. I've got kids at home. I'm trying to think how I enthuse them about things. I normally bribe them with sweets or something. Maybe that works for Carl. I don't know. See, that's why that bloke cut the rope in it and touching the void. If you had someone like him, look at the mountain. It's another one. We've seen him. He cut it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just none the wiser as to what I was meant to get out of today with Warwick. Hey, what have they got in these to start with? They feel heavy. What do you mean? If I went into the camping shop and he said, oh, carry this bag for me, get me that off that shelf, won't you? Well, he, he just kept giving me signs that... Walking around for hours. <laughs> ..he won't be able to do stuff himself. I said to him, I said, I don't want you being a hindrance to me. Yeah, but I don't want to be lugging your stuff about. I'm looking after my own stuff. <laughs> well, exactly. So why have you sorted him out for me? It is a bit long, isn't it? He put wellies on. He had to tuck his bollocks in. There's nothing that's a standard. F wow. <laughs> oh, that hurts. <laughs> He put wellies on, he had to tuck his bollocks in. <laughs> that's just wrong. <laughs> he said, that's a bit long, isn't it? <laughs> Don, he had to tuck his bollocks in. <laughs> There's nothing that's a standard fit that fits him, which means he's going to be saying, oh, me, me wellies are chafing. Not his ankles, his fucking ball sack. So I don't know, I don't know. And I told him, if he goes down for whatever reason, and he needs me help. I've got to drag him. Now, what I did was... <laughs> He's going to go down, is he? I asked him to get in a rucksack in case he did go down, and he wasn't happy about that. I don't think I'll ever feel the need to get in the backpack. Honestly? Honestly. I don't know why he's not happy. I'm the one carrying him. <laughs> I'm not getting in the backpack. Not getting in the backpack. <laughs> not getting in the backpack. It's not funny, really. If we're in the middle of nowhere, yeah. and we have to, you know, he's talking about seeing orangutans. Now, I don't know how they act around someone of his size. I don't know what, whether they're just seeing black and white, and to him, he's one of them. I, I don't know, honestly, I don't know. But why him? What's, what's the reason for taking him? What's he bringing to the party here? Um, I'm to be friendly. That's the whole thing. Ricky thought it would be fun. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the end of it. Uh, that That's the whole thing behind every trip, every season. Ricky thinks it's going to be funny, so 
that's where he sends it. But anyway, this is good. Uh, it, it, it's good to see these two together before actually getting into the show. It gives more of an insight into how the show came about. But uh, I like this. Uh, anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comments. Let me know what else I need to look for, and I'll get there as soon as I can. Uh, this one's going to go uh, probably Wednesday. So I will have already seen my doctor by then. I'm going tomorrow. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, let me know what else I need to look for. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me as much as I enjoyed watching it with you. And I hope to see you on the next video. That's about going to wrap this one up. I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here, Jerry J.